Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Monday.com and Trello. The first thing I'm going to talk about is pricing and what is the difference between these two programs. Then I will talk about the features, what you can actually do, what I recommend to do. Then I will talk about the customer service and some summary. So let's start. The pricing. Trello is completely for free if you like use it alone, right? So if you want to even when you want to invite someone, you got unlimited cards, unlimited lists, and I use Trello time to time uh, personally. But what I prefer comparing to Trello, I like to use Notion because in my opinion, Notion is much better. Only because uh, in Trello, you have only Kanban style of boards and I personally don't like it. So Kanban is like all right to me, but still. Now, personally, I wouldn't use Trello if I would have like five or six or seven or more people. I wouldn't do it. Because if you're gonna go with the business plan, right? You're gonna unlimited cards, unlimited lists, advanced checklist. Monday.com is going to be much more useful for you if you're gonna have more people in your team. That's what I think. And why is that? Only because uh, Monday.com is much more complex. You can have a custom fields here. Let me show you what I like. You can go with the timeline, with the text. You can go also with the time tracking of a project. Then you're gonna select progress tracking, which is also good. Now, our, like, everything here. Monday.com is a full big deal. And then, when you would go here, you can also add a view. And you can choose, like, also you can use Kanban in Monday.com. When you would go to more views, you can use a map here. You can see workload, charts. There's, like, something that Trail doesn't have, any, like, at all. So, if you want to use alone personal project management, like, with two people and you don't have like you don't want something uh complex go with the trail that's a good good path but let's say like monday here monday got only 14 day trial in monday you're not going to be uh free forever so after 14 day you need to actually buy basic standard pro or enterprise version so now if we would go for example with standard let me show you you get most of the things. Yes, you don't have private boards here. I agree. But you have 20 gigabytes of file storage. And you can simply choose most of the things. So that's really good. And that's pretty much it. To summarize this whole video, again, features Monday.com are winning. Customer support on Monday.com is better only also in the basic and standard version. Uh, they have uh, Trello is in business class they will reply to, uh, but they say the Monday.com is much better. Now, easy of use, both of these are simple, but Trello is much simpler in my opinion. It's much easier to understand and you don't need to actually watch any tutorials because you will understand everything. Now, to go any further, report and analytics, definitely go with the monday.com because you can actually like play around with and you don't need excel you don't need anything else because you're going to see everything here now to go in further to go in further you're going to see integrations here again in monday.com you get most of the integration comparing to trello and it's pretty much it so if you're going to choose if you're alone, go with the Trello. If you get like two people, max three people, go with the Trello. If you want something more complex with a team of people, go with the Monday.com. That's just my recommendation on what you can do here. Because yes, when you would like go with the Monday.com, you can simply add another card. You can simply click here, edit labels, and change the checklist due date. You can add also time tracking here to it. So, yeah, but still, the complexity is missing here, right? And you have only Kanban. So, that's just my two cents what you can do. So, thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.